Hi, I'm Maddie from IP Holders. The Tech FX Reflow controller works together with the Windows software called Oven Tools to bring you many applications. We can reflow solder paste onto PCBs using configurable profiles, cure epoxies and plastic for extended periods of time, execute precision temperature profiles from spreadsheets in seconds, minutes, or hourly temperature set points while the PID runs continuously. Dry components monitor multiple sensors over time. Each of the above applications and functions are driven from the menu items of oven tools and require the selection of a few options to get the task started. First, let's look at oven tools general options by clicking on the options button. Color themes are available to change the look of the graphs for high visibility and presentation. Grid lines are optional on the graphs. The graph sensor selection boxes allow you to select which sensor data is shown in which graph position. Note that the two smaller graphs are completely real-time scrolling graphs only while the main graph is fixed time and only scrolls in certain real-time modes. To set sensor settings, change the boxes to what you want and press Program button. Then press the Get button to get the configuration from the controller. Note that the configuration is loaded automatically from the controller when it is connected to USB into the Windows program. Next. Let's look at the PID Gains button. The PID Gains settings includes the proportional, integral, and derivative gains value used by the controller to calculate which direction to drive the oven in, add heat, or remove heat based on the set point over a historical temperature interval. Pressing the program button stores the values in the controller, while pressing get receives them. Note that the values are loaded automatically from the controller when connected to USB. A good starting point is KP equals 1, KI equals 0, KD equals 5, and should be adjusted according to your oven while observing the results. Integral windup is limited to a maximum value in controller firmware. Reflowing PCBs with ramp profiles are quick and easy. Pressing the Ramp Profiles button allows you to set up a ramp profile and select the one you want to use. All ramp profiles are stored on a controller and are loaded upon connection to USB. Thus, press Program when you want to save them and get All when you want to reload them in Oven Tools. Profiles are selected by profile number and you can type in the profile name you want it to have. Reflow profiles consist of preheat, soak, reflow, and cool down stages, and you will select the maximum time and target temperature for each stage of the reflow process. The cool down stage is programmed in the firmware by temperature, 50 degrees Celsius. Using spreadsheet profiles, we can set up any temperature profile we want and get greater control of the temperature profile. Sample spreadsheets can be downloaded from our website. The set point temperature can be done every second, minute, or hourly time interval by specifying that in the spreadsheet. Then each time value will be equal to that interval. The read ahead value provides an additional horizontal shift of the entire graph about the time axis, which can help center a ramp that your oven may not be able to meet. Oven tools can read XLS extension spreadsheets. For seconds interval spreadsheets, you will see the graph line 
response from the controller displayed. The PID runs continuously while the seconds temperature set points are loaded. For minute and hourly interval spreadsheets, you will see a solid filled area under the graph for the completed portion as time goes by. As the temperature set point is set every minute or hour from the spreadsheet, however the PID runs continuously during that time interval, maintaining the set point with precision and accuracy. For minute and hourly runs, you can see updates every second by setting the smaller scrolling graphs to the same sensor and the temperature data is in real time. The drying and curing functions can be used to dry electronic components and cure epoxy, among other applications. Clicking on the Dry, Cure button, we see we need to set the target runtime, perhaps 10 minutes for chip bonder epoxy, and the target temperature. Starting the Dry, Cure run, we have a real-time scrolling graph on our main window. The temperature set point is driven by the PID routines on the controller and thus the PID gangs affect the run. The monitor function can be used to monitor temperatures in real time on a scrolling graph. Clicking on Start Monitor button will display the three sensors as configured on the graphs in real time. No oven or fan output is driven by the controller during the monitor function. The monitor mode can be ended by clicking the Stop button. Different firmware versions are automatically detected and displayed in the lower status bar. Thus, only the features for your firmware version will be available to use in Oven Tools. Also, the Oven Tools version is displayed in the lower right bar as well with a clickable button to launch our website. We have shown how to use Oven Tools in several applications, inclu including reflowing PCBs, using spreadsheets to meet temperature profiles such as fermentation, reflowing, brewing, drying components, curing epoxies and plastics and monitoring temperatures in real time. And it is all done with accuracy and precision with real-time scrolling graph options in addition to PID control. With set points available for seconds, minutes, and hours, you'll be able to recreate any temperature profile needed. Oven Tools will also feature regular updates to increase its functionality and support new firmware versions. Stop by our website at www.reflowcontroller.com to get more information and visit our online store.